I'm Garrett Cortez. And I'm Jake Pallott. We're on the brand new Bryant Calandra Surf. This boat's 23 feet, four inches. It's got a lot of really cool options. We're gonna walk you through it from bow to stern. And I'm gonna tell you all about how it surfs. Up in the bow of the Calandra, you've got plenty of room for two to hang out comfortably, along with a couple cup holders for each person, some speakers to listen to the tunes. You've got storage underneath the seats, and right up front, a nice cooler on a hinge. And then when you're ready to park it and hang out for the day, your anchor's up in the front locker. Drop that thing, you're set to go. At the helm of the Calandra Surf, we've got a big wide captain's chair that's really comfortable to sit in, easy to get in and out of. You've also got all of your gauges right here at your fingertips. Your ballast here on your left, along with your bilge. Over here you've got nav and anchor lights, court lights, docking, your accessory. You've got your tachometer, fuel, zero off speed control, and your trim. In the center of the dash, you've got a spot for an optional nav screen. You got a Clarion head unit, and then down here you've got a nice little accessory, a 12 volt, extra USB ports, and a cup holder. With the surf capabilities, you've got two surf tabs, one on port, one on starboard. Super easy to set up and down, depending on which side of the boat you want to surf, and then you can just fill your ballast accordingly here. Powering the Calandra is a Volvo Penta four-wheel drive with 300 horse. It's got plenty of giddy up for getting up on plane. It handles really nicely. And this boat actually is a lot of fun to drive. It handles great, turns easy, really smooth on the throttle, in and out of gear. Plus, you're sitting higher up, which makes it great for seeing ahead of you, downed riders, all that. A really slick option on this Calandra is the fact that it's got a head unit. Slide this open. Anybody needs to change, use the bathroom, it's right there. Plus, you've got a remote stereo unit right here. So if the driver doesn't want to mess with the stereo, you can let the passenger change the tunes. The cockpit of this Calandra is a really unique feature. It's really wide open, which provides for a great social area, lots of room, easy to flow through, but it's really comfortable too. First, you can flip this back and lounge right here. You can also flip this up. You've got room for a whole cooler. You've got cup holders throughout, your kick and clarion stereo speakers, and plenty of room for kicking back. At the rear of the cockpit of the Calandra, you've got a really cool lounge area. Dual seats that pop out and slide down into a big day bed. There's even adjustable backrests, so if you don't want to lay flat, take your position, lounge in comfort. Being a water sports boat, Calandra made it really easy to get in and out of the water. You've got a full walkthrough with no slip sea deck flooring, a huge swim step area, but what's really cool is underneath here, you've got all your battery switches so they're easy to access, turn everything on and off. In the standard configuration of these rear seats, you've got a place to chill on the swim step. It's really comfortable, and you've even got a remote control unit for the radio. You probably know Bryant as the luxury runabout brand it's become famous for, but what's really set apart this boat is the fact that Bryant has recently become part of the Correct Craft family. That's allowed them to integrate a lot of cool water sports technology and ideas and add wakeboarding and wake surfing to an already luxurious boat. Like Garrett said, since Bryant is under the Correct Craft family, they've incorporated a lot of really cool ideas that help this boat perform for water sports better. One of those things is subfloor ballast that runs bow to stern to keep the boat balanced while you're driving and makes it sit deeper in the water for wake surfing and wakeboarding. So since this boat has 1,500 pounds of integrated ballast, we filled up the left side, the side I was surfing, and rode at 11 miles an hour. I was really impressed by the wave. It has plenty of push and a great shape to keep you in it and having fun. Of course, being a Bryant bow rider, you get all the performance of the deep V hole for rough water, the convenience of the stern drive, and the luxury that the Bryant name is known for. The Calandra really is a cool boat. Plus, if any of your crew is into wakeboarding, wake surfing, or water sports, this boat is perfect for getting you out and having fun. I'm Jake Pallott. I'm Garrett Cortez, and this is the Calandra Surf by Bryant.